This final week for the Phoenix Suns, all of the attention on what the Pelicans are doing this week, what the Kings are doing this week, what the Lakers are doing this week, and then, of course, the Suns. Two games against the Clippers, big game against Sacramento on Friday. Maybe a big game against Minnesota on Sunday. Maybe not. We'll just kind of see where things stand. And then it's playoffs time. And is it going to be play-in? Is it going to be you're the sixth seed? There's a whole wide range of where the Suns could end up. But it kind of feels at this point like it's going to be six, seven, eight, maybe nine, depending on how things go. Um, it's not what we expected. I mean, this is not – I mean, if we if we rewind the calendar back to the middle of October – and we were so excited about this Ooh. basketball, right? Like if, if I if I say to Gambo oh, yeah. from mid October, hey, let's pause on the Diamondbacks World Series conversation for a second. Let's talk about the Phoenix Suns. I'm going to tell you right now they're going to be the sixth seed in the West, or that they're going to be the seventh seed in the West. Oh my goodness, that would have been a massive disappointment, right? I'm trying to see if I could find what our predictions were in the beginning of the season. Like, you know, I know we all made predictions. Like, what what did we all predict on Arizona sports uh, the records would be? Because I don't – I mean, I none of us would have picked six seed, seven seed, no, eight no. seed. None of us would have picked anything outside of the top four in the West. Now, was anybody predicting 60 wins or 55? I don't know. I'll ask Mitch and Lauren if you guys can peruse through Arizona sports. I don't remember what we had to write for like preseason predictions for the but go back and look and see if we if we had to write anything where we put a number on it or things like that and the reason i'm bringing this up is because the, i think it was bleacher report that you sent to yes me, right it yes. was a bleacher report and they were it's a really weird time to do this considering the season is done grading every nba's NBA teams trades and moves so far this season right and you know what they gave the phoenix suns give them an a gave them an a Sons have added Drew Eubanks, Eric Gordon, Josh Okoge, Grayson Allen, Yusuf Nurkic, and see a little Royce O'Neal. You notice Bradley Beal isn't even listed here since that trade landed him technically took place during a 22-23 league year. Um, but they basically give them an A. They said, without the ability to knock it for, for going all in on the off-injured Beal, it's hard to criticize what Phoenix has done. They they, they feel like, that. look, there's an upgrade, eight and out, Nurkic in, and Grayson Allen in. Chris Paul out, Bradley Beal in. They're not saying anything about that. Then you look at Eric Gordon, what he's meant to the team. Drew Eubanks is a backup. I could even throw in Royce O'Neal because, you know, that happened. And sure, then Bowl sure. Bowl. And, you know, you look at all these moves. Some of them didn't work out, right? Not everyone. You're not going to make 15 moves and they all work out. No. But Utah Watanabe didn't work out. And uh, Chemezi Metu didn't work out. And Kata Bates Diep didn't work out. And somehow they turned that pile of garbage into Royce O'Neal. It's fascinating. It is fascinating. No, like you, you like you it really, is. you got Royce O'Neal for those four guys. But an A, an A, you know, and that's that's where I, you know, I'm I, I I'm glad we're talking about this because you sent this to me and I, would I give him an A? Would I would, have the results warranted giving them an A? Okay, what would you do it separately? What would you give the Royce O'Neal for the four guys they gave oh, it's up? It's an A. Okay. What would you give Nurkic and Allen for DeAndre Ayton? That's an A. Okay. So then, like, what would you give the Bradley Beal for Chris Paul? Give it. I, I know we're veteran mits minimum veteran minimum signing of Eric Gordon. That's an A. Veteran but, minimum signing of Bobo. But it 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 hasn't translated to an A. No, but it it's it, like, like I yeah, and I know where you're going. I really do. I understand what you're trying to say. I do. The moves themselves. If you just grade the moves. They're all in, independent of okay. the, what the what the moves resulted in. The moves were all A's, but it, it's just my brain is having a hard time going. How can a bunch of moves that oh that was an A and that was an A and that okay. was an A that was an A turn out to be a season that feels like a B minus at this point, given everything that we expected from it? Because it does. The season feels like a B minus. You're very good in school, and so you would take a quarter. You're you know you're what what, what was when you what, what was a good class for you? What were you good at? Geometry. I was good at, I was good at, I was good at math. Okay, math. Really you're, in, you're math. in a math class. You're gonna have five big tests. You're gonna have five quizzes. Okay. Okay. You get an A on four of the tests and four of the quizzes, and a B on one of the tests and one of the quizzes. What's your overall grade? I should get an A. You should get an A. I should get an A in the class. So, but, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if you judge everything they did, there's a lot of A's, a couple of B's and stuff. Like, like 
And you could say, okay, it didn't work out. Kata Bates, the F, didn't work out. I'm going to give that an F. Or Utah Watanabe didn't work. But they turned four guys but, into Royce O'Neal, so in the end, that's yeah, an A. But that's not enough to bring the overall grade down. I, I just I, I hope my point's coming through clearly is that even though all the individual moves are all A's, it, w- when you nail it like that, I, I shouldn't get to the end of the class and get a C. Wait, wait, wait. Why did I get a C? I got an A on this test. I got an A on that quiz. What's, I the, got end, an a on- what's the end of the class? The end of the regular season or the end of the playoffs? Uh, well... I don't know. It's a fair I, question to ask. It, it is. It is a fair question. Final to ask. exam would be the playoffs. S- certainly, certainly, if it's the end of the regular season. Okay. We're not giving this team an A. So Dave Burns finishes the finishes with a B, but the final exam is coming up. Right. What's like you could still change that overall grade I with could. how you do in the final exam. Do, do we feel great? Oh, why about I'm talking this? about school I stuff? Don't know, here I know. Really, seriously, really you're confusing yourself. Do we feel great about the Suns' chances to? end up with an A when it's all said and done. I don't feel te- I, I don't feel terrible about it. I, I think they're a dangerous team. I, I think they're dangerous, but I don't feel like what are we I was thinking about this this morning. Like what's our what's our bare bones minimum expectation for this team? Well what where do they have to go for us to feel like this season hasn't been a failure? Is it the second round? Is it the Western Conference Finals? Where do they have to go for us to say, you know what? Okay, that worked. I'm happy. I maybe not happy, but but it was worth it. Everything they did to get to this point was worth it. Where is this point? Is it is it round two? I would say this. Failure would be not winning in the first round would be failure. Okay. I mean, Kevin Durant, Bradley Beal, that, it doesn't matter who you lose to, Denver, Oklahoma City, whoever it is. Okay. You'll blame yourself for putting yourself in a position to have to play those teams in the first round. Okay. You'll blame yourself. But losing in the second round? I don't know. It becomes a little more manageable. I think losing in the first round probably it might cost Vogel his job because um, I think that's unacceptable. You expected more. If they get by a team in the first round at Oklahoma City, if they get by a team in the first round, it's going to be an upset. They're playing teams that, you know, that are higher seeded than them. That'll be favored to win. That will have home court advantage. So if they win, I, that's now can they win three series like that? I don't, that's a great question. Yeah. I don't know. See, it, it, and and for me, it, it's that middle series. It's I agree with you. Losing the first round, it's a failure. Losing the Western Conference Finals, I can live with that. It's that second round where, like, if they hard get, to determine, if they get to the second round and they get bounced in the second round, it's going to be very difficult to determine whether I'm going to decide that season was a success or not, given the expectations at the beginning. By the way, Lauren looked. We did not give any record predictions for the season. We really? Didn't, we didn't put a number on it. Apparently, we didn't. We were not asked to do so. Wow. No? Okay. Thanks for watching Burns and Gambo. Click to see more from the guys and hit the button in the middle to subscribe so you never miss a video from Arizona Sports.